Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to uh, just gather the stuff that we need for our development, especially some of the development uh, stuff from the Nordix uh, website. I will cover that and uh, we also need to download the uh, Android or iPhone applications. I will be using my Android phone. You will see what things you need to download before we get started with our application code. So first of all, just uh, Google uh, the soft device that you will be using for example I can just google Nordic soft device I will be using S132 so here I'm, I'm just gonna go into this link and here is the S132 and uh, we uh, this S132 has uh, lots of features and uh, I'm not going to cover these features right now because it's going to be too much for the beginners uh, I'm just gonna tell you what to do uh, so uh, if you want to download these soft devices you can download from this Nordic uh, website it's uh, really easy and uh, uh, just go into the downloads and uh, if you want to d download make sure you download the latest because we are using SDK 17 which is the latest right now so I'm using the latest SDK and uh, I will be using this soft device 7.2.0 uh, basically uh, it's already present with the uh, uh, SDK so I'm not gonna download it uh, but if you want to download uh, this you can just download this zip file from here and the second thing uh, which is important is just going to click on the documentation so once we click on that we will land on this page and uh, in this page you can see we have lots of stuff here uh, this is the soft device API the application in programming interface and uh, here are the specifications uh, you need to understand what's inside the specifications if you want to know how much memory it takes and uh, what are, would be the applications that uh, are good for this uh, soft device then you can just uh, download its uh, specifications from here this is going to be opened and uh, here you can see it has uh, lots of information on uh, what resources it's uh, being using and uh, are these resources available to the application programming there is a lot of information about this so you can see everything around here uh, including the master boot record and uh, soft device memory usage uh, this is really important and uh, uh, you can uh, check everything in details here so let's see what uh, else do we need if we open the Google once more uh, this time let's uh, this time let's uh, download NRF Connect so NRF Connect is a really uh, great piece of software and uh, the main thing that uh, it can help us in is the debugging procedures and also uh, we can use this software as you can see in this image we can use our NRF52840 dongle and uh, we can uh, uh, use it uh, as uh, the receiving device and uh, our uh, Bluetooth device is going to connect with that and that dongle is going to provide information to this software and uh, this software is going to display all of this information and we can see uh, everything here the other way is if you don't have the dongle you can still uh, see everything in your phone if you are using Android uh, phone then you have to download the applications
Okay guys, once everything is uh, finished, make sure you have uh, installed Bluetooth Low Energy and uh, also make sure you have installed the programmer because uh, sometimes we have to download the hex files directly using this NRF Connect app. So uh, for the PC it's really useful and uh, mostly we will be using uh, this application. So make sure uh, you have the dongle with you or, or if you don't have the dongle uh, then uh, you can use a PCA10040 or PCA10056 as the receiving device. So in in my case, I have this USB dongle that I have already shown and uh, I will uh, put a picture here so that you can see that. So now I'm just gonna insert my <coughs> dongle into the USB port and uh, once it's uh, inserted, now I'm just going to open the Bluetooth Low Energy and uh, here we have to select the device first so my dongle is this one because it's showing USB uh, Nordic semiconductor it's uh, available if your dongle does not show around here then you have to program it it will show you a message uh, to update uh, its uh, firmware so it's going to automatically do that so maybe you have to put it on a reset mode so it all depends on the situation so most of the time is it will just update it automatically it was updated by me uh, previously so now it, it does not want to update its uh, firmware for the dongle now i'm just going to click on this one and uh, my dongle is uh, connected with the software and uh, now uh, we can start scanning the devices the other device that i have is a uh, nrf52840 and uh, it's uh, basically a pca10056 and uh, i will just uh, i have uh, pre-programmed it so that uh, you can see how does it catches the packets advertisement packets so let's start scanning and uh, in the scanning there are so many devices and uh, this is the sam bt which is the first device here and uh, of course it's uh, my device and I have already programmed that so I will just click on the details and uh, here you can see it it has got some uh, details like random static address connectable undirected and uh, the flags as well and appearance appearance is unknown and uh, so mo so on what are these uh, things uh, you will learn about it uh, in the future tutorials don't worry I will cover the advertisement and everything so you don't have to worry about it just the thing is that uh, our device is uh, scannable now and uh, we can uh, connect with the device using our dongle and here is my device and uh, if I see it's a generic access we can see it's a, a name appearance and other stuff that's it for the PC side and uh, uh, if uh, you don't have the dongle and uh, you don't want to use your PC you can also use your mobile phone if you have an Apple iPhone just to make sure you download the NRF Connect app from Apple Store or if you have Android app then you can just download it from Play Store uh, the NRF Connect app and uh, once you have downloaded uh, I will show you mm, uh, the stuff in that so the next thing is let's move on to the Android application. Uh, I will be using the Android uh, phone so I will show you the Android application and uh, the interface in that. So guys here I have three applications. NRF Blinky uh, which is the sub application, NRF Toolbox and NRF Connect. So NRF Toolbox uh, contains uh, uh, all the application including the NRF Blinky. Uh, we will see that later on once we are uh, playing around with our stuff here is the NRF toolbox and it has uh, everything like blinky and uh, other stuff so let's uh, go back we also have DFU which is device firmware update we will see that later on and go back and let's go to NRF connect and uh, once I open my NRF connect here uh, it's a uh, scanning right now and uh, there are some devices here so let's see if our device is available around here or not so here is a sam bt which is our device so if i click here we can see uh, some of its uh, advertisement properties and it's showing some battery level 90 percent what are these advertisement parameters we will learn about them so you don't have to worry about it and if i want to connect with that i will just click on the connect button and uh, now uh, my phone is uh, connecting my phone is the master device and it's connecting with a slave device which is the nrf 52840 or pca10056 so once it's connected i can click on uh, generic access and uh, here i can read its uh, name or appearance or other 
stuff so in order to read them we just have to click here and uh, here it's showing the appearance is unknown similarly if we want to read the name we just have to click the down and uh, here we can see the device's name is Sam BT. So it means uh, our NRF Connect and uh, application on a phone as well as on PC both are working fine. So it means uh, everything is good to go. So in the future tutorial, uh, we are just going to play with uh, a lot of features of Bluetooth. So uh, these applications are necessary. So make sure you download them and install them on uh, both of your devices, including your PC and uh, your phone as well. Okay, that's it for today. I hope so you have learned something new today and uh, if you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, please be sure to support me over my PayPal and Patreon. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.